welcome back everybody so this morning i actually have something different for you so this is a re-review of a movie that i was really really looking forward to really really hyped for at the end of last year and it is 1917. so 1917 is directed by sam mendes its cast consists of george mccray Dean Charles Chapman, we got support in performances from Benedict Cumberbatch, Colin Firth, Mark Strong, plus many, many others. So in this 1917 movie, we follow two soldiers who are given a mission to go and deliver a message to another battalion to stop them basically walking into an ambush, which will result in a lot of deaths. Now, the reason why I'm doing this re-review is that knowing that a lot of my friends here have now watched this movie, it's actually getting mixed reviews. Some people say they really, really enjoy it, and other people say they didn't like it that much much and I watched this again the other day and I wanted to see if it was just maybe me that got caught up in all the hype all the kind of promotional kind of material that was leading up to its release is the reason why I enjoyed this and maybe it isn't as good of a movie as I, what I thought it was so like I said I watched it again the other day and I still get exactly the same enjoyment from this movie as I did from the first one that being said, I do understand why people don't really like it because a lot of the people that I've spoken to said that there's not really much of a storyline to it. And the idea is, is that they give you the broad outline of the story very, very earlier on, early on so you can then focus on the journey to try and deliver this message. We know that this is set in World War One. We also know that it's not a hugely graphic or gory like we've had, say, like from Saving Private Ryan or Fury. I can't comment comment on Hacks or Rich because I haven't actually seen that. It's just more about the journey and the kind of emotional kind of strain these characters are going through on this journey. They are basically given a certain amount of time to get to this battalion so it's more about the suspenseful build up as in for storyline it's not a hugely complicated storyline i get it i understand it but i'm okay with it and yes the visuals in this and that single take kind of shot kind of scenario that they're using in this movie is a massive added factor into this of why i enjoy this movie so much but you still get that sense of that time is of the essence feel in this movie because they are given a timeline they are going to be trying to save over a thousand lives if they possibly can and yes visually it's an absolute masterpiece i absolutely love it the single take tracking shot that you get from this where you can't see any cuts knowing i watched this the second time now and i can actually see the cuts in here but and the what they're trying to show you the visuals the kind of very very good special lighting effects that we have certain part in certain parts of this movie okay it's a massive added factor and there's not a hugely in-depth storyline to this i admit but if you join the visuals with this with the emotional kind of roller coaster that you do actually get with this knowing that this is set in world war one and it is directed at a very wide audience so they couldn't really go too far into the gore factor here but there are certain moments of this movie you go i really really would not want to be there in any way shape or form and you know they're going into territory which is hostile or potentially hostile they're constantly on their feet you get that suspenseful build up you get that feel in this movie that any at any moment in any point of this movie there could be something around the corner which is going to be catastrophic which does actually happen in this movie or something really really bad is going to happen you join all those elements together and that's the reason why i really really enjoyed this movie i'm not going to go too into depth with this movie review i just wanted to see if it was just the hype of this movie which really got me like kind of on board with it and why i enjoyed it so much and it wasn't the hype it was generally i actually enjoyed this movie i admit like i said already the plot line in this is not complicated it's not a huge amount in this as in like in-depth plot line but if you, they lay out the story very, very quickly so you know what they're going to be doing. And it's just all about that journey, their journey to get this message to this battalion on time and any obstacles that they have to face throughout this. And it is a constant obstacle course for them, which just makes it more interesting. And there are certain points in this movie where you think they are not going to make it or I 
I'm not giving away spoilers just in case you haven't seen it, but there are certain points in this movie where you think, okay, they're not actually going to make this, which adds more of a suspenseful feel to this movie, which made it even more enjoyable for me. It had me on the edge of my seat at certain points. It even had my emotions running at certain points as well. I can't lie on that one. It's just, for me, this is going to be a movie which I'm going to be able to constantly go back to in the future and still get exactly the same enjoyment as I did from the first time I watched it. So if I was to rate this for a second time, again, it's still going to get a 10 out of 10. Strictly because of the visuals in this, how they tried to produce this to you, the suspenseful build-ups in certain places. I admit the visuals are a massive factor in this, okay? The storyline is not complicated, it's not huge, they lay it out. But for me, it's a very enjoyable watch. You do get that sense of feel that it is a very, very da nasty, dangerous place to be. And it's somewhere that I would not want to be. And I did this without putting in, say, like people being blown up as such. Or any kind of gory, gruesome kind of moments in here. What they did was a very, very good balance of that. But... So they could show this to a wider audience, in my personal opinion. So, on that note, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below, as normal. I hope you all have a great rest of the day, whatever you're doing. Please take care, and goodbye.